Thank you. Well, running for president is an exercise in hope and in humility, and we have come down south filled with both. We have come here asking for your vote, humbled by the knowledge that for so many, that vote was won through struggle, through blood, through sweat, through tears, and for some, within living memory. I am proud of the votes we earned, and I am determined to earn every vote on the road ahead. I want to salute all of our competitors, and I congratulate Vice President on his victory tonight in South Carolina. I want to thank the voters of South Carolina, especially black voters who showed that famous Southern hospitality over the last year, welcoming us into their homes and churches and neighborhoods and businesses. I want to thank our entire team every supporter of this effort. And yes, everyone who has gone to PeteForAmerica.com to help us come up with that $13 million that's going to power us for the next step. <laughs> I want to thank our amazing campaign family and my amazing family, especially Chaston, who has stood with me from northern Indiana all the way here to North Carolina. At this moment, as a mounting epidemic threatens our communities and our economy, we are seeing just how much it's going to matter to have serious judgment and a steady temperament in the Oval Office. Not to mention a belief in science and evidence. So more than ever, we know we cannot afford to get this wrong. We cannot afford four more years of Donald Trump in this country. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.